Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here are five very quick ways that you can use the screen blend mode. So the first thing is to go to the layer itself, hit Control J to duplicate it, and then click on the blend mode here and just change the screen. And oh, there you've brightened the picture without blowing out highlights. If things are a bit too light here, you can always go to a mask layer here on the top layer and then you can paint in with the paintbrush in black to kind of paint away some of the effects. You can bring back the areas that have got a bit too bright. You can use masking and be a bit more careful to do to get that effect. But there you go. OK. Second one that you can do is to go to the light filters and go to a Gaussian blur. And then if we turn the radius up here, it gets to a bit of a blur. But if I change this to a screen blend mode, that blur is overlaid onto the original and it becomes a kind of dreamy effect. If you want to get rid of this factor on the edge, just click on Preserve Alpha. And if the effect is a bit strong, just turn down Opacity. So, there we go. Um, third effect, let's do a, a fill layer. So if I go to layer here, then click on new fill layer. And a layer appears above here. Change the blend mode to screen. And uh, because it's white, that means it, it's uh, everything's going to be white because of the it's a lightened mode. But we just change the color here to something like orange. And we're getting a tinting effect far too strong. So you turn the opacity all the way down, very low, very, very low. And just turn it up a bit and you can get just a little bit of that, that colouring coming in here, particularly into the darker areas which can be affected. So it's a way to get colour into darks. OK, let's take that one off again. Now what we're going to do, um, we'll do a dodge and burn. So if I click on here and go to curves, and I'm going to pull this one up here to lighten it, I'll do it something. I'll get that point there to see in the middle on that crosshairs, which is a standard position I often use. And I'm going to call the, the this big part, and I'll just blend mode it first to screen. So that's going to make it things brighter. I'll call that EOG Dodge for lightening. And I hit Control J to duplicate it. And call that one burn which is darkening. And I bring this to the same amount. So that little point there, I bring that down. So that is just going through there. And I change the blend mode here to multiply. And you can often do this. You combine the dodge and the blend modes together. And uh, so that looks a bit odd, but we're going to control I to invert the mask, control I to invert the mask there. And then we paint white on it to get it to the um, color we want. So let's get a you know, light white. And if I paint white on the dodge, then I'm going to bring back the lightning. So if I want to lighten something, you can see here where I'm going. The opacity there is 60%. You can change that. If you turn it low, then it'll, it'll gradually brighten things up. And you can do a little bit of layer at a time and just, you know, just keep painting on the traditional way of doing that. And on the other one, the burn, and uh, guess what? That darkens things. So uh, again, painting white, then this brings back that darkening effect. So that's doing dodge and burn with curves and using the multiply and its opposite screen as a matched pair. And lastly, um, yeah, what we'll do is we go to the adjustments here and go to black and white. And then we change the blend mode here to screen. And what we've got is kind of a faded picture. But what we can do is we can, when we turn something down, it gets back to the original. So you can see the reds coming back there. And if I turn it up, they disappear again. So I can use this to control what colors go black and white. So if I pull them all down, I get the original picture all back again. And I can selectively fade. So if I want to fade the 
reds here and it'll gradually go towards grey. And I can do the same with other colours. I can do that. I can fade that down. So you can use it for fading and you can do a popping with it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.